Have you ever wondered why two tokens with identical market caps can end up world apart in value? The answer often hides in an important number called FDV, fully diluted valuation. I'm Jessica from Binance and today we're diving into what is FDV and why does it matter? Well, FDV is a projection that shows what a crypto project would be worth if every single token that ever exists was available now at today's price. Think of it this way, market cap only counts tokens trading today. FDV gives you the full picture, calculating the theoretical value of all possible tokens including those still locked up or not yet created. It's a forward-looking metric that assumes the entire supply is already live. Calculating the FTV is straightforward. We just take the current token price and multiply it by the project's maximum possible supply. I'll give you an example. If a token costs $2 and the total supply would be 1 billion tokens, then the FTV would be $2 billion even if only a fraction of those tokens are currently circulating. Now, pay close attention to the gap between a token's market cap and its FTV. This represents all of the tokens not yet on the market, but coming in the future. That gap doesn't just indicate the project's potential ultimate size, but it can also help us flag potential risks. A big gap could signal future inflation or dilution. When tokens locked eventually release through token unlocks or vesting schedules, supply increases. Basic economics tells us if supply goes up without a matching jump in demand, prices tend to fall. FTV also helps us to identify projects using low float, high FTV model, where only a tiny fraction of total tokens are available at launch. This structure can create artificially high prices early on due to scarcity, allowing early investors to capture upside while leaving retail investors vulnerable to price declines as more tokens enter the market. These sky-high valuations at launch, they often leave little room for sustainable growth once the initial hype fades. This is exactly why FDV matters. It's a powerful analytical tool that gives you a preview of the total potential supply and even serves as a heads up for potential risks. But remember, FTV is only one tool in your arsenal and it has its limits. Its biggest assumption is that in today's price, it will stay the same, even if the entire supply suddenly floods the market. And while increased supply often results in increased selling pressure, it's really important to remember that FTV tells us nothing about demand. It doesn't consider real-world use, community strength, or underlying fundamentals. It also ignores the crucial details of when those extra tokens will be released and who gets them. A slow and gradual release is very different from a large chunk unlocking for early investors who could sell. So should you consider using FTV? Absolutely. Just make sure you're using it smartly. Don't just look at the number in isolation, compare it to the market cap. That ratio tells you how much of the supply is already in play. A low market cap to FTB ratio could mean a lot of tokens are still waiting to unlock, and that suggests you might consider looking deeper. Ask yourself, who holds the locked tokens? When do they unlock and how fast? A high ratio, say over 70% for example, may suggest low dilution risks in certain occasions, because most tokens are already in circulation. As always, conduct your own research and stay informed. For a closer look at token unlocks, you can also check out our recent video on the subject. It covers vesting schedules and everything you need to know about how the new supply hits the market and what it means for you. Remember, a high fully diluted value doesn't automatically mean a project is bad. Even tokens with high FTVs can be worthwhile as long as they have strong fundamentals, real adoption and genuine utility driving sustained demand. But it is a signal that one should inform your overall analysis and prompt you to ask the right questions. Is this valuation based on substance or speculation? FTV doesn't tell the whole story, but it's a really smart place to start and a useful indicator of the project's long-term scale. So next time you're researching a token, look beyond the hype, DYOR, and also make sure you consider making fully diluted valuations part of your analysis. Understanding it will help you stay informed and invest smarter. That's all from us here in the Binance Studios. We hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.